Hello, this is Furkan from Lahore Graphics Academy and in this video we are going to install React Navigation 6 in our Expo project. Um, as you can see that the React Navigation is currently on 6.x and that's what we are going to install in our project. Um, you can open the documentation, this is the home page and you can open the documentation, it's super helpful and I will be coming back and forth to this documentation page for copying some code in order to save time. So let's just click on Docs and we will navigate through these as we move on with the video. So first of all, I have some basic steps written down. The prerequisites are that you need to install Node.js and Expo CLI in order to create a React Native project. Just a recap. And then you need to go to the folder where you want to create a React Native project. Then you run this command, which is expo init tutorial. Tutorial is the name of the folder or project that you will be creating. And then we are ready for React Navigation. So I'm assuming that you have all these steps completed and we are in the React Navigation part. <clears throat> I have this app.js, um, which is the first thing that you see and once you install the react navigation react native app and this is the default text that comes along so let's just rename it to um, Lahore graphics Cat. which doesn't make any sense because why not because we will be washing this out with our navigation but we'll copy it somewhere else so the first step that you have to do is install some dependencies for React Navigation. React Navigation version 6.x. The first thing we will install, you need to open the terminal or if you're using some other um, editor, you can open the command uh, prompt simply and direct it to this path where you have the folder installed. Mine is over here. Okay, um, React Native app tutorial one. This is my um, path that I'm that has been opened over here, the project. So let's start with step three. npm install React Navigation in Net Native. This will obviously install the React Navigation. So let's just <clears throat> copy and paste here and press enter. It will take time but it will install the given um, dependency. Let's wait a bit. So once the dependencies are installed, we can run the second one, which is expo install React Native screens and React Native save area context. Just copy and paste it. I need to run it here probably. Control V. Okay, so it's, it's installing. Let's give it some more time. Okay, so now it works. But it's a very easy installation. My terminal is probably blocking the commands. So I have to run through um, the Windows command line. Okay, so we have run two of the dependencies. Um, both are related to React Navigation 6. Now we are installing our stack navigation. And that's done through npm install um, and so on. Let's copy this and we go to the terminal again. And install it. Uh, once it's installed, you will be free to use your navigation. So this is the last step, last dependency that we are installing. So there are basically three of. Once you have your project, you have three navigation dependencies. You know, just to start with. Uh, obviously, there are a lot more, uh, but for now there are just three, just to get you started. So we are we have completed three and fourth step. Now we run our project with the help of npm start. I'm using Expo as I mentioned earlier. npm start. Once we are done, what I can do is um, you can see the changes on Log Graphics Academy on the screen. So now what I have to do is I need to go to the documentation. And over here, 
I want to go to Hello React Navigation part so that I can copy a few of the things from here. In order to use the navigation, what I want to do is copy this path, Control C, paste it on the app.js. Similarly, I copy this um, import line and I paste it here. You have to just use this. We, as you remember, we installed this dependency and this dependency. So we are using um, them in, in, in order to, we are importing them. Now we will overwrite our function app. So what I will do is I will remove this part, the JSX that we are returning replace it with the one given in the documentation just copy and paste it here and inside stack navigator we have different screens okay so there is navigation container then there is stack navigator the stack there are a lot of type of navigations like stack drawer or bottom tabs so we are using only one the stack navigator then we have stack screen each navigation has multiple screens we can have home, we can have um, contact, and we can have about, you know, just a basic, or, you know, let's say, movies page or screen, and, you know, this, you can have as many screens as you, as you want, or as your project requires. So, what I can do here is, I can just get rid of this one and we will use two screens one is home and one is movies home is home screen movies is movies screen okay makes sense now we neither have home component now and, and neither we have um, nor we have movies screen component because once we click on home or movies in this app we will be directed towards their respective components and in this project we have nothing <clears throat> so let's fix that over here we'll have um, component and over here we'll have movies component R type probably movies component and home component well, basically over here we'll use the functions and then we'll move on to the component folder that we'll create for home screen home component so the home component will just write a simple function which is home screen a function is home screen it has no parameters and it returns a JSX that's it. That's our component. Um, style is, you can ignore the style for now because style is not important. The main thing is the functionality. And now we have home screen written here. But we will not write home screen here. We write home screen. Um, okay, let's write just home screen. Now press control S. But before that, I need to comment out this line because it will give an error as we don't have this movie screen component. Hey, we need we have an error we have not used this one and I just realized that we need to copy one more line that is this one right after your functions you need to import this line so now we save it and first thing is done you can see the home screen and you can see the navigation at the top which says home so first step is complete now we create another component which is movies component. So movies component, I'll just simply copy and paste this function here, control C and control V. Rename it to movies screen and I'll rename it to movies screen. And I'll uncomment this part. So let's, let's press control S. It will not do anything because by default our screen is navigating to this part and I want what if I want this page to be loaded first I'll just simply add a 
um, a parameter in Stack Navigator component, and that is initial group name, and that is movies. Copy and paste and save. So basically, what it's doing is initial root name is movies. So once the app starts, it will be jump directly to the movie screen. There you go. You can see the movie screen is being loaded. So our navigation is working. Now we need some buttons to navigate in between. I'll just copy this and paste it here. And and I will probably um, <clears throat> need to add some buttons inside the home screen um, in order to go to movie screen and a button inside the movie screen in order to navigate to home screen. So that's basically what I will be doing. But before that, I need to divide it into components. So let's create a folder and rename it components. It will have two files. One is home.js and one is um, movies.js. So we don't need this anymore and we need to shift these functions inside the home.js because this is something that is not included in this in this documentation um, how to convert it into components so for those of you who are having difficulty let's just try this so i don't need this function anymore for now i will shift it into this home.js file so this is the basic path that we'll be using here I will be implementing the function that we need. So let's just copy this function and copy or control X probably and paste it here. And we need to edit this line. We will edit it with this one. Constant home and props are already passed here. We will need we will be needing this prop um, in a while. I'll tell you why. And here I'll create a button and a function. Um, a button will be it's being already imported from React Native, so I can use that button on Rest is equal to um, this will be given a uh, we will be creating a function outside to me to keep my inner code clean so what is what is it is basically doing is uh, this function is being called over here so you can type your function here navigator details we are passing the props parameter which we'll be using for navigation dot navigate so basically this is the path um, basically this is the thing that you have to remember whenever you have to navigate within a component you need navigation dot navigate if there was another page called contact you can use the same line but this path will be different and this is coming from this over here the, the name that we chose so we have a button we have not assigned it a value yet um, we'll name it go to Go to movie screen. So this is a self-closing tag, so we have made a mistake. And view style, okay, good. Button title go to movie screens and press navigate to details. This will take us to this path of oh, function. And once we do this, it will navigate to the movies. So that's basically it. Control S. And once we save it, we will also save this app.js file. Control S. So we are importing um, the home. Long. So that's what we are importing. And home.js. And it's not a home screen anymore, it's just simply home. 
rename it to home press control s to save it now let's see the changes that we've done so we have goes to movie screen once we click that we are in the movies so there you go um, even though we have not converted this into a component we can do that just as we have done it with the home um, home screen uh, you can do is just copy this and paste it here and we need to change some things navigate to details obviously we need that but we will going to home and this will be movies and return this is good go to home screen on press navigate to details navigate to and this is a function that I copied so it's not named correct navigate to home would make sense use this control C control V control S not yet movies now control S this is done and at home screen we need to rename it to navigate to movies that will make much more sense control C and control V and control S <clears throat> now in app folder we have to import it again we don't need this function we don't need these comments and control c and control v movies movies and one more thing we don't have this movie screen we have movies.js and that's it so as you can see we are we are in the home page go to the movie screen we go to the movie screen go back to home screen so there you go we have a nice navigation at the top and the button is configuring just like we intended it to do so there you go if you find this helpful just spread it thank you very much see you next time hello and welcome again to react navigation tutorial series this is Fukan from Lahore Graphics Academy and in this brief tutorial, I'm going to give you an idea on how to start up your tab, the bottom tab, Navigations in React Native Expo. <clears throat> now, these are the navigations that appear at the bottom of your screen. And let's see how to build them. First of all, in my command line, I have to install a few dependencies. These dependencies you can copy from the description or you can look at their documentation. In order to do that, I have to stop my Expo server, which is already running. Now let's install a few dependencies and go through them one by one. Now the first dependency to install is this one, React Navigation slash Native. Now you remember this from the Stack Navigation video. Okay, this is the second tutorial of the series. The first one was stack navigation this one is tab navigation so I have already have this installed I'm not gonna run this but you should if you haven't already now the second one is this one install this again I already have this installed so I'm not gonna do this if you are missing out on something check out my previous video where I installed all these dependencies one by one okay the link is in the description so don't worry and the third one is this one. This is unique. The previous one was stack. This one is bottom tabs. So I'm going to install this one. And I will get back to you once this is installed. Okay, now that three of our dependencies have been installed, we are going to start our expo developers to the console that we all um, need to run before starting our React Native project. For that, we have to write npm start now that our expo console is running the developer tool is running now we can see that um, this line is being printed on the screen so let's start building the tab navigation all of our dependencies are installed there are three in total so we're going to import them as well um, in st uh, status bar and style this is by default given to me I have not imported them by myself so let's import the two other dependencies that we just installed. Number one is 
the navigation container. Again, we did this the stack navigation. The second one is the create bottom tab navigator. In the stack one, we created the stack. In the tab one, we are creating the tab. So there will be some similarities between them, the syntax point of view. Now, just like what we did in stack, we are going to create a new handle for the tab or for the tab navigation. And we will be using this in our uh, navigation container component, which we will see in a, in a little in a little while. So that's done. Over here, we will write our home component or any component that you want to name. So we do not need this entire view. What we need here is navigation syntax. How to do that? Just like what we did in the stack navigation, we created the navigation container first. Inside of navigation container, we will create the tab navigator. So here is the tab navigator component. And inside we can add our screens, just like what we did in the stack navigation. I'm repeating it and comparing it with stack because it's easy to compare. So over here we will write our um, first screen on the component, the home screen. Okay, this is a function that I have to create. And this is the title or handle that will be pointing at this component. So let's start building this function. We are going to return something which will be JSX and it will be view. And inside of the view will be a simple text. I don't know why I do this kind of bracket hello home screen. Text closed, and that's pretty much it. So let's save it and see how does it look. Control S. So there you go. We have this home at the bottom. The icons are missing because I have not installed the library that shows the icon, but you can see that it's working. And let's add a new screen and see what we can do with that. We will copy this home component and paste it here and instead of home it will be movie component function name will be movie screen movie screen return view hello movie screen okay movie screen and here we have to add a screen control c this line the one which is showing the home screen we will rename the home to movie and movie screen home screen to movie screen control s again and we should be seeing two of the navigations at the bottom, movie and home. So it's as simple as that. In the movies, we have the movie screen. And in home, we have the home screen, as you can see in the emulator. I'm switching back and forth from home and movie. So that's very simple, and see you in the next tutorial. Hello. This is Furkan from Lahore Graphics Academy and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create drawer navigation in React Native with the help of React Navigation version 6.x. So without any further delay, let's dive straight in. So this is the page that I'll be following. Uh, this is uh, an article written by me and the link is in the description. You can just visit this web page and Follow along with the steps that I have written down, uh, easy to understand and step-by-step -step breakdown of drawer navigation. So first you have to uh, create a React Native project or a simple blank folder so that we can follow along with the steps. So create a new folder. Mine is called React Native underscore navigation. And I will be opening the terminal or the command line over here and I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio. So as I said, step number one is already done. No need to perform it in my site. You can run it on your end. I'm gonna start with expo init drawer, copy this line, paste it in the terminal. This will create a drawer folder inside my already created folder, which is React Native underscore navigation. Choose the blank template and press enter it will install, it will take its time and it will take about two to three minutes or um, even more if you're uh, depending on your connection, internet connection. 
So I'll get back to you once the installation is done. The installation is done and now we are ready to move on to step 3. But before that, I would like you to see the folder structure that just installed. You know, you can see it the, from the snippet on the website and you can see it over here on the um, Visual Studio. So moving on to step number three, we installed the React Navigation straight away. But for before that, you have to change your directory. So type in cd, which stands for change directory, and then your folder name. In my case, it's drawer. Now we write the uh, install the React Navigation. So just simply copy and paste this line and press enter. You will be able to simply um, it will install the dependencies and the React Navigation. So let's get back to you after it's done. The installation is complete. React Native Navigation is installed. Now we install its dependencies, which is step number four. So once again, install or sorry, copy the line mentioned here. Just copy it, paste it in your terminal or command line and press enter and you will be able to install the dependencies for React Navigation. The installation is complete. The dependencies are installed. So let's see what is step number five. Now, before this, I would like to say that even though our React Navigation is installed, now what I like to do, and that's from my personal experience, is that I always check if the navigation is working by simply installing stack navigation because in installing draw navigation it usually takes a bit of um, a more code to write so just before writing the drawer or tab navigation quickly check the stack navigation and whether the react navigation is working or not so step number five and six are optional do it if you want to do it neatly or you can just skip it and install the drawer navigation. So I'm going to install the stack navigation. Open the terminal, paste the line that I just copied and it should install the stack navigation. The stack navigation is installed. Let's write some code in the app.js file. Simply copy and paste this line, uh, this entire code, copy it, and move on to the app.js file, which you'll find in your folder. And select everything. You can remove each and everything that's already mentioned there and replace it with the one that we just copied. Save it, open the terminal once again, and start the server by typing npm start. Once the server starts, you can open it on your Android by pressing A. That will open the emulator. And you can check if your stack navigation is working or not. In my case, it is working. Because you can see that home screen is written, home is written at the top, the top padding is being provided, which normally isn't the case in the default settings. So, if the home is written at the top, it means your stack navigation is installed. So let's move on to the next step. Now we need to stop the server. Press Ctrl C, it will stop the server. And now we can install the drawer navigation commands and its dependencies, which is step number seven. So copy this line, installing the drawer navigation right now. Just paste it and press enter. It will install the drawer navigation and I'll get back to you once it's done. The drawer navigation is installed. Now we need to install the dependencies and for that we will go to step number eight which is installing the dependencies. Copy this line, open your terminal or Visual Studio and paste the line, press enter. It will install the dependencies. So basically, um, Installing navigation is nothing else but installing dependencies and libraries. That's all. Everything is done on its own. Moving on to step number nine, which is writing the code. We will copy entire 
code from this um, snippet, copy it, go to Visual Studio, app.js, and remove everything that was written there and paste from the code that we just copied. Save the file, open the server once again by typing npm start and after writing npm start you can select android and after selecting android you can reload because previously it was uh, running the stack navigation so we need to reload it and there you go you can see the sandwich button at the top that's our drawer and we have successfully installed the drawer navigation now in next tutorial we are going to learn how to create or customize the drawer navigation if you find any errors or difficulties while installing drawer navigation please let me know in the comments I will be happy to answer them because there are a few errors that you might run into um, while installing the drawer navigation but nothing to worry about just leave it in the comment and I'll answer it thank you see you next time